Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the Playwright Trace Viewer feature. This is a very nice feature provided by the Playwrights. Using these features, we can record the uh, execution trace logs, screenshot, and then with the help of using Trace Viewer, this is a GUI tool. With the help of using Trace Viewer, we can navigate the execution. We can debug our test script execution. Okay, so how we capture the execution trash log? So we can use browser context tracing APIs. Using that, we can capture the log. So we can call here context dot tracing method. And then here there is a start method. We can call the start method. And here we can pass the tracing option. Start option. And the, in option we can, let me import. In the option we can set the values. Like we can set the screenshot true. It will capture the screenshots. If we can set snapshots, okay. Two, two flags I set, trace, set screenshot true, true, and trace snapshot true. In snapshot, it will capture all the like uh, object hierarchies of HTML DOM. And uh, using this screenshot, it will capture the screenshot of execution. Now, at the end, we need to call the tracing stop, met stop method to stop the tracing. And then here we need to pass the option again, tracing option. dot options and then we can call set path and here paths dot get here we need to pass the file name in which file we want to capture the trace like I am giving the file name trace.gip so what it will do it will execute the test cases okay and it will also capture the trace and then it will save under in the trace.gif file. Now let me run. Let me delete this. Okay. And we are not passing here any folder name. So directly it will save under the root directory of, our, of your project. Test is running, okay, execution done. If I refresh, we will see here trace.gif file. Now, how we open this trace.gif file? So we can use the command line utility, okay. So go to the Maven project, test project playwright, and opens command prompt. Okay. Now we need to write MBN command MBN EXEC colon Java hyphen E hyphen EEXEC dot main class equal to com dot Microsoft. dot playwright dot cli so this is this is the main class of the playwright com dot microsoft dot playwright dot cli the next argument we can pass our arguments equal to so hyphen trace 
then file name trash dot zip. So this is the file name which file we are looking. Okay, and enter the text. You can see the command is running and it's open the playwrights viewer. Playwrights trace viewer. Here we can see trace. Okay, this complete. This is the console. This is the network log. Okay. In next, you can see here the screenshot after the navigated the URL. We can see this screen. Okay. And in console logs, if there is any console log, we can find here network logs. You can see these requests sent to the server during the execution. There is also this is the action, right? Before and after we can also see the screen. So before there is a blank. After there is this page. Similar type when we click on the get started link. Okay. So this is the action it performed here. This is after one. Okay. In action, you can see get started. So it click on here. And then before this, we have this screen. And after the click, we will see this screen. This is the network logs console. If we have anything, we can see here. And these are the call. Okay. So here first it is baiting to the text, get started. Once the found it resolved, now it started clicking. So waiting for element to visible. Okay, like scrolling to view. All these function is done before the click. For the next locators, okay, here we can see after and before. So this will be very helpful for debugging purpose. Okay. Now we can also set here the source code set sources if i will use here equal to true okay and run the test again so when we are setting up the source code then we need to tell the playwrights where is the source code so this value we can pass in the environment variable Okay, so if we are running from command line, we can set up from the command lines. Okay, and if we are using Eclipse, so in Eclipse, we can set up this value. Go right click, run configuration. There's the environment section. Here we can add the environment value. And what is the source? So our test is under the SRC test Java. So this is the source folder of a test script. So click on OK button. OK, apply, click on run. So test is available under the SRC test Java. So this source we need to set with the in the environment variable. Execution done. Let's run again this because file is modified. Yeah, it's open. And, and now here we can see one more option source. So this is the page navigation. So if I click, so it will show which is the line code, right? So this is the source code. And we can see this is the method is executed page dot navigate for this command frame click. We have next page dot locator and then click method. Okay. Source is also available along with the networks and console logs. Using the command line, we can run and also we have uh, some online utilities which is provided by the playwright. We can directly open using that. So how we open this? Let me close this. Okay, so this is the file. This file is saved here. Okay, so we can open the browser. Okay, here there is a trash playwrights.dev. We need to open this URL trash playwright.dev URL. Okay, here we get option drop playwright trash to load or select here. Okay, so we can drag and drop directly. Let's drag and drop here. When we drop right, it will automatically open the same file and trash logs are available here along with the source code. Okay, so we can run all locally open the trace. We can run the command locally 
to open the trash log also we can use the online url provided by the playwrights and we can navigate we can debug debug our trash log this trash log is very 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 helpful to debug our test system right so hope this will be helpful for you and if you have not subscribed channel please subscribe so that you can get uh, notification and you can get the latest video okay thanks for watching the video